Hey guys, Antfordham here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a little project that I have been working on for quite a while now. Now I know for the scope of my YouTube channel, this may be something that is a bit far-fetched and a bit out there for you guys to fully appreciate and understand, but I think for those of you who are sort of of the geeky variety such as me and you enjoy seeing unique projects like this, I feel like this is going to have some entertainment value for you guys. So yeah. What I'm going to be showing you guys here today is my basement water cooling set up with my computer here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain why I did this and then I'm going to show you guys the whole setup itself here. So the reason why I am water cooling my computer in the basement of my house is because while I'm live streaming and whatnot, I don't want the heat from my computer to kick into my room and heat up the room really fast. When I actually have my primary door closed here, you can actually hear that the echo in this room is a lot better. So I want the door closed or at the very least I just don't want the room to heat up as much as it was, so I decided to pump the primary heat source of the room, the computer itself, into the basement. Now you guys might be wondering, well can't you just use a normal water cooling setup and make the temperatures of the components like a lot better? And while that is the case that the temperatures of the components would be a lot better on a really good custom water cooling setup, that wouldn't change how much heat is actually being outputted by those components. The only thing it would change is how fast the heat gets away from those components, which is what results in the better temperatures. So yeah, I wanted to pipe the heat into the basement and cool it down there where obviously I won't hear it, I won't feel it, and everything will be good to go. So anyways, uh, sorry for the messy setup by the way, I only just recently got back from Minecon and things are fairly messy right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's launch right into it here. So I'll show you guys the setup itself here. So none of the actual components of the computer itself have really changed much. The only thing that has changed is the fact that I added a water block onto the graphics card and a water block onto the CPU, and it's all being water cooled through the basement. Now basically the way that the system works is it starts off with a pump that's downstairs, and I will show you that here in a little bit. It pumps water into the setup and then, you know, pipes it back down to be cooled and then into a giant bucket to be stored, and then the whole process just kind of continues. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, one other thing to note on this side of the system is that you see, yeah, I see these metal connectors that are sort of right here. Well, those are actually what are called quick disconnects, and it allows me to disconnect the system without water dripping, which allows me to move the computer around if I need to do diagnosis or if I need to change things out or whatever. So the computer is not stuck in place, whereas if I didn't have those quick disconnect fittings on there, anytime I would disconnect the tubing, uh, water would just spill everywhere, and that would be really, really bad. But with the quick disconnect fit, Things, this, it's actually a no drip system, so I don't have to worry about that at all. But anyways, uh, one thing I do also want you guys to note is how quiet the computer is. Now all of the original fans that were in there are still in there. I do need to remove the one at the bottom and add some voltage regulators onto the front so that they run quieter. But let's go ahead and let's just listen to this. Let's get real close and uh, let's go ahead and let's listen here. Actually you guys are probably hearing the adjustment of the, uh, of the lens, so let's go ahead and let's turn that off. So yeah, it actually runs quite silently, and uh, what's cool is that it doesn't it doesn't get any louder when the system starts rendering, uh, because the temperatures for this computer are in fact very 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 good. Let's go ahead and let's zoom in on those here super quickly. Uh, typically, what my computer was running at before was about 45 to 50 degrees Celsius while idling, which is not great but stable. And uh, now you can see that in between the coldest and the hottest core, it's somewhere between 18 degrees Celsius, which is ridiculous ridiculous and 32 degrees uh, Celsius which is pretty good and the temperature of the graphics card which blows me away is 22 degrees Celsius which is right there which is mind-blowing for a graphics card which is something that I think is pretty awesome but anyways let's go ahead and let's head downstairs and actually check out the water cooling gear itself so uh, the downstairs is where you guys are gonna hear all of the noise it's where all of the heat is being pumped out and uh, what's cool is that you can't really hear the pump or anything in the office you can't hear it really anywhere in the house it is a little bit loud but that's only in the basement so it's not really a problem at all. But anyway, so you guys saw where the tubing went through the floor last time, and this is where the tubing winds up. This is where it all plugs into. It plugs into these copper pipes that come all the way down here and come in the system this way. 
So essentially the way that this whole thing works is that it all sort of starts, let's just say it starts with the reservoir where the water is stored. Water gets pumped through this, you know, this tubing here where there's another quick disconnect in case I need to move the bucket anywhere to drain it. I can just quickly disconnect it because the other tube that's actually that, that goes into it when the water comes back through the whole system comes through the top there. So it's actually kind of hilarious. Sorry for the blurriness there. This is a bad lens. But anyways, so it goes through the pump, it goes through this pipe and then goes up the system. System, I believe in the back here so it goes up the back and then when it cycles through the whole computer it comes down the front uh, this is these what they call the hot side this is where the hot you know water comes through and it's gonna come through here through this radiator with four fans attached to it which is just constantly running at hundred percent and uh, it's cooling down the water that is inside the whole loop and then it goes through this fitting right here and then up this tubing line into the bucket itself. And inside the bucket, I'm not gonna take the time to actually look in it, but there is a sterilizer that sterilizes all of the water that's in it. So I don't have to worry about algae and whatnot growing in the loop that way. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that's pretty much all there is to say about the setup itself here. But uh, one thing to note as well is that the whole system is on a battery backup as well. So if the power does go out, this thing will last longer than my computer upstairs will actually last on battery power. Whereas my computer upstairs will last about 20 minutes, this will last about 70 minutes because it's running on a lot less power. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in regards to the setup itself here. If you guys do have any questions, you can feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll try and remember to provide a link to the Reddit post that I made about this because there's a lot more specific information, including the actual components that I used on that sort of mega thread on Reddit. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head off for the time being. I hope you all have enjoyed this interesting little setup. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell, guys. Thanks so much for watching.